Welcome to the Halfway Point with One Punch Man, episode six of season two, a basic nothing episode. Uh, this is kind of the bridge between the first half of the season and the second half of the season, and I'm hoping that the little bit that we did get in this episode is really going to help things moving forward, but I'm really seeing the cracks here. And I don't know if it's just me that's noticing it more. What do you guys think in the comments below? I want to get your thoughts on this. But we start the episode off with Lightning Max versus Suryu, the guy to beat in this tournament. And if we remember from last season, Lightning Max is one of the dudes that fought the Deep Sea King in the last season. And he did some really cool stuff back then. And of course, it looked cool. <laughs> but uh, he, boom, he's down in one hit. And obviously, this is building up Suryu. And we remember how cool Lightning Max was back in the day um, but it's interesting because they bring up the ideals between martial arts and heroes which I do feel is slightly a practice in redundancy a little bit but it does expand on it a little bit uh, and I thought that that the ideals between martial arts and being a hero were quite interesting because Lightning Max is like, I'm going to be a, a hero and get stronger so I can protect people. And then Suryu's like, I'm going to get really strong and become a great martial artist so that I can live the easy life. You know, I can win martial arts tournaments and win money so that I can just have the easy life after that. <laughs> um, I thought that was pretty interesting. So again, uh, speaking of practice of redundancy, they're like, more and more monsters are coming out. Okay, yeah, we know that. So they showed that in the last couple of episodes but Genos comes out and he leaves the tournament and speaking of you know when when we're coming across this man I don't know if I'm noticing this like more than usual but a lot of this stuff looks super off model it looks really bad you know I don't know if that's just me what do you guys think but there are points when Genos would strike a cool pose and I'm just like oh what the hell <laughs> God dang, the tournament continues and I'm thinking, okay, cool, we're gonna see some cool martial arts. No, we don't see any of the fights and that was super disappointing. Even with Genos, they just cut away right when the fighting begins and we just did it constantly throughout this episode. Uh, that is at least until Genos starts fighting that blade monster and there's some cool looking stuff in there intermingled with the really crappy looking models that are just always off model. But, um, yeah, you know, it just cuts back and forth. And finally we get to Sour Face and I'm like, okay, this guy has been in the last few episodes and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he could do. You know, they're not going to cut away from him, but they cut away from him. <laughs> we don't see any of it. Um, Saitama's like, oh, did you win? And Sour Face is like, what? You didn't see? And Saitama's like, oh, I was in the bathroom. And I'm like, welcome to my world, Saitama. <laughs> he, he, okay. Saitama's in the bathroom, the audience may as well be in the bathroom too because they're not gonna be missing anything. So finally we get to Saitama's first fight against Bakuzan, uh, not his first fight, but his second fight against Bakuzan, and wow, he beats him in one punch. Isn't that so funny because he's just so strong? The only humorous thing about that is because Bakuzan was gonna, you know, hit him on the head and Saitama's like, no head contact because I don't want my wig to fall off. But jeez, man, I'm just... No, there was nothing funny in this episode. There was nothing exhilarating or exciting or entertaining. It was just a nothing episode. But of course, as with this season, there are glimmers of higher quality stuff here and there, but then it would just cut away to another wonky looking character model. Like some of those stills of Genos just looked like complete garbage, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, not to say I'm not enjoying this season for the most part, just because of how it looks or anything like that. Uh, but this episode, I just got nothing out of it. So, but we do get to Fubuki and Super S, which I was super pumped for because I'm very interested in if Super S's zombie abilities, because, you know, if she whips somebody, they turn them into her love slaves and she's got all of Fubuki's men just going against her. And of course she's struggling. They've got her surrounded and Super S is like, you know, terrible, terrible tornado is my main opponent and I'm using you as bait. And Fubuki's like, she does, you don't need to use me as bait. She's already on her way. So that was really cool. I was kind of hoping Fubuki would pull out a victory against Super S despite her wanting to fight Terrible Tornado as her main opponent. But Tornado ends up showing up and like the badass she is, she just like, boom, takes care of Fubuki's men and Super S runs away. And I'm like, what? 
what's going on, man? We, you know, the fights that we do get, the opponents end up running away. That's what happened to Genos's Roach dude. He just ran away uh, when Genos tried to fire him. Uh, so Super S runs away. None of the monsters really get killed. <laughs> oh man, what's, I really hope that pays off. I hope the Roach dude comes back in some significant way. And I hope Super S comes back in some, oh, okay. What if Super S comes back and she freaking takes over Saitama? Oh my freaking God. That's gonna be nightmare for everybody unless they can kill Super S before Saitama destroys the world basically. Oh my God. What do you guys think? Do you actually think that's gonna happen? Let me know down in the comments if you think that's actually gonna happen. I mean, even if she takes over Genos somehow, he's like a robot dude, so. <laughs> but anyway, uh, finally we get some interesting uh, philosophies here. We have Snek, who of course was in the first season versus the main tournament antagonist. And he's talking about natural selection and Snek is wondering, yeah, man, there's so many strong martial artists out there. Are heroes even necessary? And I think, that they might come to the conclusion that heroes are necessary, but the, maybe the hero's association, how it is, isn't necessary because you got heroes turning against each other so that they can go up in the ranks, you know? And that's not what heroes should be all about. The heroes should be all about saving lives. And of course, Serial, Serial. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Serial. Uh, <laughs> but he just wants the easy life. So I thought there were some interesting philosophies in this episode with the uh, hero martial arts stuff. But overall, I just got, I got nothing out of it. Like the, the fights were almost non-existent. We got a little bit of sprinkled here and there of some good looking animation and some good looking stuff, uh, still images and, and everything like that. But of course, that's just my initial thoughts. I mean, after thinking about it a little bit, I might think more highly of it. But I mean, if this is a production issue, it's really starting to show. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you Did you still enjoy this episode? Uh, do you agree or disagree with me? Obviously, as always, let me know. Um, and I cover One Punch Man every single week, so subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And uh, thanks for watching. As always, take it easy. Mm -hmm.